An Astronomer's Dilemma, Finding Planets Among the Stars, presented by Science at NASA. Strange but true, when it comes to finding new planets, stars can be an incredible nuisance. It's a matter of luminosity. Stars are bright, but their planets are not. Indeed, when astronomers peer across light years to find a distant Earth-like world, what they often find instead is an annoying glare. The light of the star itself makes the star's dim planetary system nearly impossible to see. How would you like to be an astronomer who's constantly vexed by stars? Bummer. Fortunately, there may be a solution. It comes from NASA's Galaxy Evolution Explorer, or GALAX for short, an ultraviolet space telescope that has been orbiting Earth since 2003. In a new study, Researchers say Galax is able to pinpoint dim stars that might not overwhelm their own planets. We discovered a new technique of using ultraviolet light to search for young, low-mass stars, says David Rodriguez, a graduate student of astronomy at UCLA and the study's lead author. These M-class stars, also known as red dwarfs, are excellent targets for direct imaging of exoplanets. Young red dwarfs produce a telltale glow in the ultraviolet part of the electromagnetic spectrum that Galax can sense. Because dwarf stars are so numerous, as a class they account for more than two-thirds of the stars in the galaxy, astronomers could reap a rich bounty of targets. In many ways, these stars represent a best-case scenario for planet hunting. Their low mass means they are dimmer than heavier stars, so their light is less likely to mask the feeble light of a planet. And, because they are young, their planets are freshly formed and thus warmer and brighter than older planetary bodies. Astronomers know of hundreds of distant planets, but very few have actually been seen. Many exoplanets are detected indirectly by means of their wobbles, the gravitational tugs they exert on their central stars. Some are found when they transit the parent star, momentarily dimming the glare. But not dimming it enough to reveal the planet itself. This new Galax technique might eventually lead to planets, which can be seen directly. That would be good, because, as Rodriguez points out, seeing is believing. And it just might make astronomers feel a little better about the stars. For more information about distant planets and the stars they circle, visit science.nasa.gov.